Hello, Cancer. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. Now, we have here new moon in Aries. Now, new moons are about no do new doors that are opening. So Spirit's saying go for it. There's new opportunities here and it's time to go for them. Now, let's see what Archangel Michael said. It's time to leave an unhealthy or this unhealthy situation. So the prayer here is, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? So that's what Spirit's drawing your attention to. Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Now, there's new things that are needing to come in just now. There's areas of your life that need to look to be looked at, obviously. So we'll see what this is. So it's time to leave an unhealthy situation and go forward to new opportunities. We'll see what spirit, please show me clearly what this is about. The Ten of Swords. The Magician. And the Three of Swords. So there's obviously here, there's some sort of upset. It could be heartfelt disappointment in some area of your life. It could be your personal life. It might not be. It could be somewhere else. But whatever this is, it's time to leave these disappointments behind. Now, the thing about this Three of Swords is I usually say the clouds will clear and you will get over this. But what Spirit's saying is this could be an ongoing situation. For some of you, it could be. Or it could be an unhealthy situation. And to... Get over the disappointments and the upsets. We need to think about going for something new. We need to leave an unhealthy situation here. Now, this is disappointment. You can see he's fed up. He's lying on the ground here. He's disappointed and he's had enough. So we need to end this disappointing cycle. It's upsetting. It's not serving any real purpose when it comes to your happiness. And we should also always be doing things that make us happy. So what Spirit's suggesting here is that we or you look towards manifesting new goals for yourself. So it's new opportunities here, most definitely. New doors, there's always opportunities. There's new things you could consider here. So it's time to set new goals. Now, we'll just clarify this. I want to clarify the Ten of Swords, Spirit, please. Can we clarify the Ten of Swords energy? The Three of Pentacles. There's your happiness. The Page of Cups and the Two of Swords. So there's a decision that you definitely need to make with regards to your happiness. Now, when we're making decisions, we want to be doing what's right for us. We don't want to be people pleasing. So if you've been doing any of that sort of thing, saying yes when you mean no, you know, doing things that are to please other people and not yourself, it's time to look at this. Don't put this decision off any longer. Always act in your best interests. Think about your own happiness here. Now, this could involve apologies from it could be you apologising, somebody else apologising. This could be dealings with a younger person as well, because this is a page. But this could also be you making decisions with regard to your happiness, keeping your happiness in mind. It could also be about new jobs, new beginnings, working with people. If you've got a lot on, it might be that you need to um, delegate here. So a healthy situation might be that you're doing too much. So you want to be collaborating with other people, maybe one person or more, about how you're going to work together to create stability to put an end to the disappointments. Now, it could be we're manifesting new goals, new people, uh, new jobs into our life. We might need advice over our finances here. It depends what you're manifesting, and this will be a diff 100 different things for 100 different people. But whatever your goal is here, you need to work collectively with one person or more to lay the solid foundations for your future. And any efforts you make here, your skills will be recognised and they will be rewarded. Because it's teamwork that's needed here, uh, whether it be gathering information or whether it be, you know, getting advice of any kind or whether it be joining new um, teams at work or new, you know, new opportunities, bringing your skills to the table. It doesn't matter what area of your life it is your hard work will be rewarded because you're setting solid foundations and you're cooperating with everybody around you. And when we're laying solid foundations for the future, they stand the test of time. So we'll just clarify the magician energy here. What more has Spirit got to say about this goal setting? How important is this? Yeah. 
because there's worry here, decisions. So we've got the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Swords and the Hermit energy. So what we need to be doing is we need to take ourselves away and we need to have a, do a bit of soul searching and have a good think about things here because the answers are within you. This is about an unhealthy situation that's been disappointing or upsetting for you. So it's time to take yourself away on your own. You've gained enough knowledge in life to understand that you will find the answers if you, it's a lone type energy. You need to go where it's quiet. You could take a walk. You could take a weekend away, time off your job, whatever it may be. But it's about listening to your intuition and doing your soul searching. You will gain the enlightenment you need and the clarity you need, and it will move you on from this worry and anxiety that you're going through. Now, this is unnecessary worry and anxiety, and an, I'll say it again, unnecessary worry and unnecessary anxiety because we don't have to be in situations that don't suit you. Okay, there's unhealthy situations here we need to be looking at. We need to leave it behind. Archangel Michael is suggesting that here. So worrying about it's not going to change it. Listening to your intuition, taking time out in your own will. It'll help you gain the clarity you need, put an end to the mental anxieties. You know, when we go to when we go to quiet places, we ground ourselves. You know, if we take a walk or come away from whatever's causing these disappointments and upsets, it grounds you. Take time out to do your soul searching. Heal. Look after yourself at this time. And you'll gain the clarity you need. The wisdom is within you. It's never in your environment. It's not in your environment. You're not going to find the answers in your environment. It's unhealthy. So you need to move away from that and you'll gain the clarity. And you'll get the, the inspiration to make, you know, to make choices. You'll make, be able to make good, decisive choices for your future. Now, she's somebody who doesn't suffer fools gladly. You'll learn what goals to set for yourself, what path you want to go down, what's important to you here, the people and situations that we need to cut out our life um, so that we can start on and set goals that are and they're not about other people, that this is entirely about you. So you're leaving these unsettled healthy situations. That's what the King of Swords does. She makes these strategic decisions, intelligent decisions about the path she wants to go down. I'm saying she is not a gender specific reading. So this is highly important we do this. We once she makes up her mind, there's no going back. Nobody um changes it. So it's solely about you. It's about making decisions for yourself here that have your own best interests at heart. And it's time to do it now. It's time to do it. Don't be putting it off any longer. Now let's see here. Yeah. There's something that's not sitting well with you here. Take this information and use it to your advantage. It will mentally move you on. This is about mental energy here, most definitely. It's about seeing the way forward from disappointments. It's all mental anxiety we're dealing with. So if you take this information and use it to your advantage, you'll start to mentally see the way forward. You will move on and things will become clearer as you go along life's path. And that's where your happiness will lie. We need to put these disappointments behind us. Uh, when we act in your own best interests here, the planets will align and you'll be far happier. Okay, right, we'll take a Divine Direction card to end this reading. Goals. Goals. As above, so below. You have the Midas touch now. It's time for you to take your goals off the back burner and go after them. Don't worry about other people. If they are worth it, they will support you when you're going towards what you want to achieve. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.